Quantu has made significant improvements to the machine monitor system with the operator in mind for safety, comfort, and information. Today we're going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 final hydrostatic wheel loaders. So let's get started. The wheel loader monitor group is very nicely laid out for good visibility and ease of understanding. Let's break the monitor assembly down into three main parts and examine how those parts communicate with the operator. Centered on the top are the warning and pilot lamps. To the right side is the speedometer tachometer and to the left is the monitor display. Looking at the warning and pilot lamps, we can see that there are seven lamps. Starting on the left, we have the centralized warning light which lights up red and the audible buzzer sounds when the machine is in any of the following conditions. Action level LO2, LO3, or LO4 are displayed on the monitor. The brake oil pressure is below a set threshold while the engine is running. The starting switch is turned on when the directional shift lever is in any position other than neutral. When the directional shift lever is not in neutral and the parking brake is applied. When the speed range selector is operated down to first or second, or the travel direction is changed while the travel speed is high. When the travel speed exceeds the speed limit and the overrun prevention control is actuated. Another lamp is the parking brake caution lamp, which lights up when the parking brake is applied. The left turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved up. The front high beam pilot lamp lights up when the high beam headlights are activated by the right column lever. The right turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved down. The brake oil pressure caution lamp warns the operator that the brake oil pressure is below the specified value. And finally, the clearance lamp pilot lamp lights up when the clearance lamps are turned on using the right column lever. The speedometer and tachometer work together in the round part of the machine monitor. The tachometer is a digital gauge design ranged from 0 to 3500 RPM in 100 RPM increments. During certain key on functions, such as manual preheating, this meter unit may reboot, with the pointer of the tachometer making one full swing from 0 to 3500 and back again. This is not a failure. The speedometer is displayed in an LCD window within the tachometer gauge and can be programmed to display either kilometers per hour or miles per hour. The range of this gauge is 0 to 99 kilometers per hour. During certain key on functions, the gauge may reboot, with the numbers temporarily displaying 88. This is not a failure. The monitor display may be considered the primary focus of the monitor gauge group. This 7 inch color graphic displays more than just warning and pilot icons. It is designed to mirror a modern high tech gauge cluster found in high quality automobiles. Let's focus on the four gauges, one in each corner of the display. The gauges are digitally created on the high definition LCD monitor. The gauge in the upper left corner reports the engine coolant temperature and the display ranges 50 to 135 degrees Celsius. The gauge in the lower left corner reports the HST oil temperature and the display ranges 10 to 120 degrees Celsius. The gauge in the upper right reports the fuel level and the display ranges 27.7 to 188 liters or 7.3 to 49.7 gallons. The gauge in the lower right corner is the variable speed display and shows the dial selected maximum speed in first from a low of one kilometer per hour to a high of 13 kilometers per hour. The monitor display includes an eco gauge, which shows the instantaneous fuel consumption. We define the instantaneous fuel consumption rate as the fuel consumption rate at that moment. This is calculated based on monitored parameters that measure accelerator pedal angle, travel speed, speed selection, and workload. This whole gauge can be turned on or off. The gauge itself has two parts. The left bar is green on the bottom and yellow at the top and is adjustable through the machine monitor. This indicates the target fuel consumption rate. The floating step gauge changes as the operator uses the machine. The heavier the use of the accelerator, the higher the bars. One major addition to the monitor display for Tier 4 Final is the diesel exhaust fluid, or depth level gauge. It is located on the right side of the monitor. The depth level gauge indicates the remaining level of depth solution in the tank and has four indicators that should help the operator. The blue squares indicate the current depth level. The depth level tank condition indicator is a white icon on a black background when systems are normal. 
the depth level operating range indicator has a green section and a red section. When the blue level indicator squares reach the red section, this is considered the critical refill range. At the top of the monitor display is the seat belt warning lamp. This lamp is lit if the key switch is in the on position and the operator has not fastened the seat belt. The alarm buzzer does not sound during this event. To the right of the seat belt lamp is the traction level display. The traction control operating state is displayed at this location. At the bottom of the monitor display, there are two meters. These are user programmable. The left meter can be programmed to display service meter reading or SMR in hours, odometer reading, or clock time in 12 or 24 hour format. The SMR is the default. For the right meter, the choices are average fuel consumption, which is the default, SMR hours, odometer, or clock time. The temperature controls are still displayed in the center of the monitor panel. Not all of these icons are visible at all times, only when activated by the blue buttons on the multi-switch panel. Shown here are the operation mode, the fan speed, the temperature setting, and the AC on-off status. This concludes the monitor gauge display for Komatsu WA270 and WA320-8 hydrostatic wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the operation and maintenance manual located inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.